Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to see how to download iWare Log and GTK Wave 2 and then after see how to run a program and visualize the waves. So the steps are given inside the description and watch the video till end so that you won't have any confusion. So before starting the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Search for iCareers Wear Lock Download on Google and click the first link. And in that select the latest stable release and the download will begin. Okay, I know my internet is low. So after download, open the folder and then start the install process. Click next, next and and install JDK Wave. So click on next, next, next and then install. So once it is finished, you can see that in your folder path. So as you can see, iWareLog folder is shown now. So that is step one. Now we need to add environment variable. So copy the path address iWareLog bin. So to go to environment variable, type in system, go to the system and in advanced system settings, you can find environment variables. So in environment variables, we will add a new variable. So variable name can be anything I'm choosing as where log. So variable value is the path that is which we have copied it. So paste it over here, which we have copied and okay. So it's done. Oh, so now the setup is complete. Now let us take a test file test.v and write a small sample code of a hello world and execute it. To execute the hello world program, we need to execute the instructions inside the command prompt. So let us open the command prompt. And give the following instructions. So first, we will compile the code and create an object file by using the command iWareLog. So iWareLog hyphen O and the test is the object file name. And we give our file where our module is present. That is test.v. So once the object file is created, we give it to the another command vvp. So this command will execute the code. So now as you can see the hello world is printed. So this is how we run our log tool. So now let us take an another example where we can have waveforms. So this is an example of counter. So we have two files for it. One is the code itself that is the design and the test bench. Okay, I'm copying the code. Okay, we have created two files, counter and counter tb.v. Now let's execute them. So open the command prompt. So first command is I will log and dot exe will be then extension or you can give I will log alone. So I will log hyphen o for the object file and the name can be anything. So here the name is dsn and give the two files that is the test bench and the design file. Now you got your object file. Now we need to run this object file using the command vvp. Okay, now when you run, 
using VVP and you get all your counter result whatever you have done in the design and it is displayed over here. So this part is similar. Now to get the GTK waveforms use the command GTK wave and you can use .ext extension or not. So this name is in the test bench that is test.vcd so we need to use that name for GTK wave. So GTK wave and the file name will give you this window where you can see the waves. So as you can see on the left hand side corner there is a test click on it you will get the different modules. As you can see here we have clock that is the wire and the output and the reset. So you got your signals here and you can magnify it to get your correct waveform. So according to your adjustment you can change the zoom size. So this is how you get your waveforms from iWareLog and GTK Wave. Hope this video is helpful for the beginners who wants to run their Verilog code and check the waveforms. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button and please leave a comment if you need more of these sections or not. Thanks for watching and be brave.